Hello, guys. I'm so excited. I am really, really pumped up. Um, I'm also going to play with this until a few more people come on because I was going to sit, but I was thinking to myself, I'm not sure if I want to sit during this message. So I'll wait for a couple people to pop on before I get started. Maybe I'll fix my hair. I put on a ton of eyeliner because I wanted to. There we go. That's a little better. Evening light. Okay. So there's a couple of things. Hi. <laughs> you don't know me. Do you know me? You might know me. Some of you may know me. All right. My name is Katrina Giska. I'm a Black Status presenter and Nicole and I are really tight. She is such an amazing friend and person and leader and um, I love her. I can't wait to see her and I can't wait to see you guys at convention. I hope that to see you. Um, whether you're going to convention or not, there's a couple things that I want to touch on. First of all, it is definitely, fall is the best time to relaunch your business. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, the summer is over and the summer is sort of challenging, especially for most of our target market are moms, right? Like a lot of us, our moms ourselves, we're kind of in that like, I don't know, 20 to 40s range in general. There's always outliers, but, um, you know, it's a busy, busy time in the summer. While summer's wrapping up, especially in the South, the summer's wrapping up like next week. A lot of those kids, hey! <laughs> somebody's on um a lot of people are getting their kids back in school next week so that's going to change the entire mindset and as you know in retail in sales there are ebbs and flows and pretty much ask anybody in the beauty industry ask your hair girl ask your um whomever whoever you get to do your stuff brows and you know waxing whatever the summer is slower for them and um, so don't freak out about this summer, um, but not as many people are present and not as many people are in their normal routine um, and they're not in the mindset to spend money. Now, that being said, the fall, people are. They're getting ready to get rid of their summer stuff. People actually wear more makeup in the fall. Um, I find there's more like color options and things like that that people are interested in. Um, and also, as far as people that do home parties, the fall, people are ready to get together with their friends. They're ready to have their mom time back um, after the summer. So this is a great, great time to push your business. Um, also, convention. Okay, listen, you guys. There's Sometimes people have... You may have started this business, okay? You may have started this business and you were like, I'm going to do it. I've got this. I'm going to get my kit. I'm going to get, I'm going to, you know, be a leader. I'm going to make tons of money doing this, working from home. It's my dream. Um, and you have your why in front of you, right? Like, you know what, why you want to make money. You know what you want to do with it. You know sort of why you're pushing yourself to the next level, okay? Why you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. But you know what happens sometimes? Sometimes you don't follow up. Sometimes you get somebody that's kind of interested, but you don't know what to say and you freeze. Sometimes you talk somebody, literally talk them out of joining. Oh my gosh. Hey, everybody's here. I'm like, I know you, I know you, I know you. I'm so excited. Okay. So Sometimes, in fact, I'll tell you a little story. I had somebody who I know from my childhood who's very successful in her current, she's a dentist, okay? And she was like, I'm kind of interested in this unique thing. And I swear to God, I got her on the phone because that's what I like to do to talk to people on the phone. Um, if I can get them on the phone, I usually can get them to sign up. I don't know. I think it's just because they hear my voice. They know I'm real. I'm. It's better, you know, you have more of that connected conversation. Um, instead of being distracted and like texting or whatever. But anyway, I swear to God, I thought I almost talked her out of it. Like I hung up the phone, <laughs> story time. I hung up the phone with her and hi, Alyssa. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I love this team. <laughs> you may not know that I know who you are, but I know who you are. 
Um, I watch you guys, and of course I know from Nicole who you are too. So anyway, I almost talked her out of joining with me because I was afraid that I was going to fail her as a sponsor. I mean, listen, I've sponsored, you know, 121 other people. Like, you'd think that I would have this down, and you'd think that I would be super confident and be like, yes, of course, I've produced leaders, I know how this business works, I can walk you through it, and no problem. And I was almost like, really? So why do you want to do this? And of course, why? I mean, there's a million reasons why she could want to, but I was afraid that I was going to fail her. And this is the thing, like, Luckily she signed anyway, so yay, how cool is that? But sometimes you let your fear get in the way, you let um, life get in the way, you let yourself step right in front of yourself. That's good grammar, right? So you step right in front of yourself and you're like, and you screw up and you mess up. Or maybe you post on your wall and you just really haven't built up that Facebook network and your algorithm on Facebook and you haven't really done that and you're like I just don't know if I've, I I tried it I don't think I'm gonna be successful at it I mean I sold I sell mostly to myself maybe you feel like I'm the one placing always my own orders you know I'm not I'm not building this business the way that I had originally set out to do and you feel like some shame about that maybe you do um or if you don't you might have girls that signed up you know they sat at zero they didn't have those little successes, especially in the beginning that you need. This is another great tip that I got today from a coach of mine. And she said, what you need to do is ask your girls when they first sign up in the first seven days, say, what's your goal in your first seven days? Because her goal might be something along the lines of, I want to, um, you know, get, do one makeover, or I want to get together with three friends and show them my kit. Or I want to just do my makeup and post a selfie. That's really out of my comfort zone. That would make me feel really confident. Or I want to get some sales. You know, having $100 in sales in my first week, that would make me feel awesome. That would get the ball rolling. That's what I want. Okay, touch base with her. You know, see, see what that is. Because you know what? If the goal is like compact enough for to do in a presenter's first week, you can help her make that happen, you know? And then once she feels that, she'll get that bug. She'll be like, you know what, I can do this. Yes, I did it here. I can do it again. I can do this. I can do that. And once you get that like can-do attitude going, you are good to go. Obviously, you're still walking them through things and answering questions and being there for them, but that's so, so important is having that quick success in the beginning, whatever that may be to her. Remember, not everybody will do the business the same way you do your business. So you want to get in her shoes, listen to her, and figure out what's going to make her feel successful, what's going to make her get excited, okay, or what she thinks. And that can evolve and change, and that's why those conversations and the relationships that you have with your team, it needs to be very consistent. It needs to keep going, you know, have that open communication. Super important. Okay, so let's go back to my main point, which is convention. If you have not launched your business, or if you want to relaunch your business, or you could be an established leader and be like, you know what, things are going great, but maybe I want to push things to the next level. Um, or, you know, after you have that little bit of a summer slump, you know, if you have it, some people aren't, but if you are, you know, I want to reinvigorate my business. I want to get excited about it. This is the time to do it. We're going to have new products. We're going to have new excitement. We're going to have new announcements. We have the fall coming, which let me tell you right now, some direct sales businesses are 70% of their business is done in the fall. I don't know what our numbers are, but luckily being makeup, we still have the ability to sell fairly well through the year. But the fall, fall is when promotions happen, you guys. Anything can happen in the fall. You can sign up a new girl. She signs up a new girl. That girl could go blue in a month. That could push you to green, orange, purple, black. The fall is when the magic really happens. This is the building time. This is the time when you're planning, when you're planting your seeds, when you're, um, if you're not signing up a lot of people, instead of selling makeup on your wall, start talking about the opportunity. You're going to sell what you talk about. So if you're like, gosh, I'm just not signing people up, um, I'm selling makeup though, you're probably not talking about the opportunity as much as you should. Yes, you can lead with makeup, 
But in those follow-up conversations, when you have your customers, those follow-up conversations should be, oh my gosh, you know, how do you like your foundation? Oh, I love it. It's amazing. I'm so glad I finally took the plunge and spent $70 on that and the brush. Awesome. Hey, you know, just curious, but have you ever thought about selling Unique? Or have you ever thought about doing what I do with Unique? That's it. Very, very simple conversation that can happen right with those customers then, okay? With the follow-up. Guess what? Haven't followed up with somebody in the past? Okay, what do you say? So, okay, the scenario, maybe you didn't follow up with them very well. You can just say something like, hey, you've been on my mind, you know, and have that first initial touch. It's really, really important if you haven't talked to someone in a while or if you feel like I should have followed up with her, I didn't follow up with her, what do I do? is to have that first initial touch. Hey, how's it going? It looks like you had so much fun at the water park. Your kids are getting so big. Chit chat, chit chat a little bit. And then say, you know, you've been on my mind. I forgot, you know, and you can say something like, I dropped the ball on this one, but I did not follow up with you. And how are you liking that foundation? Are you having any issues? Is there anything I can help you with? I mean, if people haven't opened up their makeup, A, they're not gonna reorder it. B, they, you know, you have to get them to open it and use it. So some people need to be walked through that. And just like you would with a new presenter who needs help with their new website or needs help with this, your customers, you can do the same things, right? So, you know, you know, are you having any trouble with it? Can I help you troubleshoot anything? I want to see your selfie, whatever. Okay, here's another question that I get a lot. Katrina, I feel like I've exhausted everybody. My VIP, my VIP group is dead or I haven't been posted. Listen, I'll tell you right now, my VIP group is in this situation. So what am I going to do to revamp it in the fall? Okay. First of all, I'm going to change it to a beauty blog group. Um, I think a VIP group is cool and everything, but I think I would give more value and I feel better personally about calling it a beauty blog. That way I can talk about hair. I can talk about whatever skin I can talk about just beauty stuff that, and I don't know, it'll just feel more free flowing. I think, you know, if something doesn't feel good to you, think about how you can make it feel good <laughs> because you're not going to do something that doesn't feel good. Like you're human and that's pretty much how it goes, right? If you don't like not jazz about something, you're going to just like let it go. Okay. So many balls to juggle. So you have to make sure that you're enjoying the balls. <laughs> Because if you're not having fun juggling, you know, like if you're not like loving this that you're trying to juggle, you're going to just let the ball drop. Okay. Anyway, so I'm revamping my group in the fall. But guess what? We're going to have new products. We are going to, um, there's just going to be a lot to talk about. So this gives you, A, an opportunity to say, like, it, I'm sorry, my mind just froze. It's going to give you an opportunity to say, hey, you know, I know you might have been interested in Unique before. Maybe it wasn't the right time. You know, can I show you some cool products that you might enjoy? Or, you know, how's your makeup routine going? Or there's so many different, like, ways to get conversations moving. Um, but some people are like, I don't even know and I don't want to annoy people. What do I do to get interaction? Okay, guys, this is the biggest tip. And as you do it, more your interaction goes down. But what you need to do is figure out who on your wall Where's makeup? So what you're going to do is you're going to post a question, no picture, no pictures, just a question, something like this. Um, and it's a question that people are going to feel compelled to answer. So a question like on a scale of one to 10, how important is foundation to you? Or if you have five minutes to run out the door, do you do your hair or your makeup? Or if um, if you have five minutes to run out the door, one make what's one makeup item that you cannot skip? Okay, so you're gonna get comments in. You'll get people to comment on this, and it will be people that you're gonna be like, oh, has she been seeing my posts and never commenting? What the heck? Crazy. But this is the thing. They're gonna have makeup. Okay, they're going to, you're going to know who your makeup wearers are. So then in the comments, you're going to have to reply to the comment in the reply on your, this is all on your wall, by the way, um, because what you're going to do is draw more people in. 
And that's what you want to do. You want to draw new customers in so that when they love the products, it's going to be super natural to ask, have you ever thought about selling unique? Okay. If that's the question you want to get to at the end um, of this follow-up conversation. So anyway, reply. So when you reply, you're going to do three things or one of three things. One is you're going to validate what she said. So if she's like, oh, I can't leave the house without eyeliner, I'd be like, girl, yeah, me too. If I don't wear eyeliner, it looks like I'm a lizard or I I don't know, whatever. Or um, somebody say foundation and you can be like, oh, foundation is so important to me. I just feel so much more confident when I wear it too, Sally. Um, and tag them in it um, in your reply. So they should get like two notifications that way. Okay, so then if she replies again, don't reply on your wall because then you're just like having your whole conversation on your wall. So then you can get into private message and this is where the magic happens in private message. You're going to go into private message and you're going to be like, Sally, I, you know, I thought I would just private message you because I didn't want like the whole world to see our conversation on my wall. Kind of weird, right? So just wanted to see and then, you know, what you're going to do then is, <laughs> I have to go through my head, because it's not so natural for me. This is a new skill for me, too. So you have to remember, sometimes in this business, you're going to learn new skills, and it's not comfortable at first, and it's not your typical habits. But if your habits aren't working for you, then you might need to change your habits to develop this skill, okay? So then in the message, what I usually say is, and I'm looking up here because this is my file cabinet, so I remember things. Um... I'm going to say something like, hey, you have to ask permission. That's the next step. So you have to say something like, hey, since you said that foundation is super important to you, would it be okay if I ask you a couple more questions about your makeup routine? And a lot of times people would say yes. Um, a lot of like the, I'm just curious, but, and if you do approach it with true curiosity too, I mean, it's not just about the sale. I mean, you can learn about what people's routines are. What are they missing? You know, how many people... Um, how many people generally are maybe like not using primer or whatever? I mean, you can kind of get a get a sense of that and take notes. Um, and then you can also, if you if you are a note taker, you could even say something like, "Sally never leaves the house without mascara and eyeliner and foundation." And then when you're at when you're at going through these things, just curious, you know, on a scale of one to ten, or just curious, what's your makeup routine like? Um, and they may tell you and you can be like, oh, well, that, you know, you like eyeliner. Do you ever wear, um, do you ever, do you ever wear um, other colors? What color are your eyes again? You know, do you ever wear green? This green liner looks amazing with brown eyes. Have you ever thought about wearing a green liner? And you can have this conversation about makeup. When Once you're starting to have these conversations, first of all, it's just going to be a lot more natural. The more you do it, the better your your potential is going to be. I mean, and you can ask for, you can, sh so, sorry, I'm like all over the place. The goal is to have as many conversations about unique as possible, the business and the products. Okay. That's the goal in all of this. But once you get into these conversations, then where do you go? Okay. And I could do a whole video about that too, but, um, I'm not going to be forever on this. But what I was going to say is, so then you can say like, would it be okay if I showed you some products that you might think look are really cool? If you ask permission and they say yes, then, then it takes awkwardness out of it. It's like you're doing them a favor. So you can walk them through it. If you're on your computer, I highly recommend when you talk about a product, posting the actual link on like in your conversation. Like this product is really cool, you know, or you have selfies and things like that, but like when they're ready to go, you can actually post the link to the product, not just link to your website. Once you kind of come up with her wish list, um, and, and you can go through all the different parts. So you can go through eyes, you go through skin, you go through, take it off, you go through lips, you go through, um, self tanning. Okay. And see what she likes, see what she doesn't like. Another great question would be, um, you know, if, like another, it's late. Um, another great question to do like is like when you're closing the sale too is to say something like, can I help you place your order or are you are you good to go if I give you the links? Because um, you're already assuming the sale and, and that type of thing too. So you can, some people want to be walked through it on the website. 
This is very rudimentary, but those questions are what are gonna start those conversations about unique. And as you're having conversations about unique, you're getting seeds planted. People might finally try the products, um, those types of things. But most important is this is the time to launch your business. If you're not connecting with those people now, then who are you gonna contact when all the products launch? Who are you gonna say, oh my gosh, you know, since you said last month that you are really into a matte lip, I just discovered, I don't know, like I just discovered a new technique to use our products to make a matte lip. Would it be okay if I showed you some of those? I think you would really love this color. This color would look amazing on you. People wanna know that you're thinking of them and you're tailoring everything to them. They, they wanna feel like you're there for them. And if they feel like you're just using them for sales, like to bump your numbers, that's not gonna work very long unless you already have a lot of influence. So, but those are kind of my points. I'm gonna read through these. Yeah, if you uh, find me, I can... <laughs> hey, Jenny, Jenny Palmer. Okay, if you are have extra questions, feel free to message me. Okay, number one. Um, we can go through a little bit more training about this too, um, about like how to have these conversations. But don't forget when you follow up to see if they've ever thought about being a unique presenter. It's really simple and it's gonna get that conversation rolling. So if she says yes, you'd be like, great, on a scale of one to 10, you know, based on what you know, like how ready would you be to sign up? I ask that all the time. And I ask that of people who've said they were gonna sign up and didn't. And instead of having that shame about that, I'm like, you know, maybe it wasn't the right time for you then, but just so you know, we have free shipping this month. On a scale of one to 10, how ready would you be to sign up right now? And then she can tell me, seven, five, and I can say, great, so why do you say a five? Why do you say a seven? And then she can tell me, oh, well, I'm really busy right now, or I'm dealing with moving, I'm selling my house, or it could be something like, I'm just afraid I don't really know what to do. And you can say, great, we have all of these groups to plug you into, there's so much support here, uh, I can help you, and not only that, but there's a whole team of women that can help get you started, encourage you. Um, or if it's like, I don't know how to apply makeup. Great. Let's do a Skype appointment and I'll show you how to apply some makeup and we'll give you like the best selfies of your life. You're going to love it. Okay. So there's, you need to see what it is. If you don't know what it is, you can't help her with it. Um, yes. Yeah, so, okay. Sum it up. Relaunch your business. Just like any retail, any retailer, have you seen retailers that change their logos? Have you seen retailers that do a new promotion? Have you seen retailers that are doing a new hashtag for a new, for the holiday season? Yes, this is all about marketing, it's all about branding, and you have the opportunity with a new product launch and the fall coming up to do the same thing. And it doesn't matter what you did yesterday, it doesn't matter if you've been in this three years and you're still a white status presenter. If you're watching this video right now, you have the ability to completely revamp, completely relaunch your business and change it up and make a commitment to do what you said when you were so excited when you joined, what you wanted to do. And you know what? If you failed before, it doesn't matter. You get up and you do it again. You do it different. You do it better. You deserve it, okay? Do not let those silly ideas and negativity in your mind hold you back from what you really deserve and what you really want to do. Just don't. You tell them to be quiet. They are not valid here, okay? Ticket to wherever, Timbuktu. Maybe we'll launch in Timbuktu, I don't know. So. Take the chance to relaunch your business. Come up with something creative. Come up with something fun. Nicole is a freaking genius, okay? She is so creative. If you need, if that's not your strength, chat with her, okay? She will help you come up with some really cool ideas that'll get you jazzed and be like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Oh, I never thought about that. I can do that. Five day series, okay? Have you seen Kara Lewis Newton? I'm like going up a day. You know, she does these five day series in her groups. Does she post, this is interesting, I was thinking about this too. Does she, she doesn't post her videos straight to her wall. She promotes her VIP group on her wall and then she invites them into her, her hers is called a beauty base. And she does her stuff in there. Get them in there and get that interaction going, okay? So that's what that works for her. But what I'm saying is, 
you know, look at like this kudos. You could do this still because our kudos is good through August 5th. Five products are in there. If you do a video a day on all of the products and you ask a question, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how important is being tan to you? On a scale of one to 10, um, or like how many of you must wear pantyhose when you're wearing a short dress this summer? Maybe some people will say, oh, I have to have spider veins. Bam, bam, bam. You can show them our body bronzer. They can cover up the spider veins and they don't have to wear pantyhose when it's freaking 5,000 degrees. Then you can say, you know, this is $39, but if you want the bag and all the goodies in here, that's $99. You get all of this for $60 more. You get lip treatment. You get your eye serum. You're going to get self-tanner for your face too, which is great because I know you want to take care of the skin on your face and not expose it, overexpose it to sun just to get a little color. Boom. There you go. You're selling a kudos. Okay. See how those conversations roll? So think about it. Think of things in terms of five or seven day series. I know we do 10 day parties at Unique, but I think they're a little lengthy for me anyway. I can't do anything for 10 days in a row like that. So just bleh, like hammer it down, do something fun, promote it, you know, go get Word Swag, download Word Swag on your phone. It's $3.99 and you can make anything look like a poster to promote yourself. So, okay. Relaunch. If you guys are thinking of relaunching, whoever's relaunching, I want you to post below in the video, okay? I want you to commit to an exciting relaunch. You're going to try to do something new. Um, that way, your uplines can connect with you about it. You can brainstorm, um, or if you have any questions, find me, follow me. I hope I see you at convention. Mwah. You guys are amazing. I'm so excited to find out what we're going to have. It's going to be life-changing. I'm so excited. Okay. Good night. <laughs> Maybe.